Hey, welcome back everybody. Bob here, BossPlumbingVideos.com. What are you looking at? You are looking at a bird's eye view of the house trap. That's correct. The house trap that's in my sewer system located in the building I own here in Brooklyn, New York. Now that's located in a pit. It's about a foot deep and you have two covers. One is for the street side. That's the one on the right. One is for the house side. That's the one on the left. So the flow comes from the building, goes from left to right. So it enters the P-trap, goes down and around. There's a little U-bend under the ground. You can't see that, but I'll demonstrate that for you up on the bench. Comes up and around and then proceeds to go out to the city sewer. Now, what you see there are lead fit all plugs or lead replacement plugs because the original ones were probably brass, but the reason they put these in there is because the threads were probably so worn out inside the trap that they couldn't put the brass plugs back. So let me just move these out of the way and I'm just gonna bring this into the camera frame here. This is probably what was there. You can see it's got threads on it, but the threads in here, I can tell you they're like non-existent. They're all worn away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to explain to you up on the bench the options you have when you wanna replace the original covers with, you know, in this case, lead fiddle covers or they even make some uh, newer style covers that people are using to cover the holes in their house trap. Now, we have house traps here in New York. This is not true around a lot of the country. Uh, New York City plumbing code requires all buildings to have house traps. Um, even though we have traps underneath the fixtures, the kitchen sinks, the bathroom sinks, laundry sinks, etc., and the traps are designed to keep sewer gas from entering the building. Now, if I put this street side cover on, I can tell you that there is no odor. But when I take this street side cover off, whoa, you don't want to be here. You're going to see what this smells like. This is pretty, uh, pretty ripe stuff, guys. So uh, another thing while I'm here is I would recommend that maybe twice annually, it's a good idea to take your covers off, go in here and see if there's any grease buildup, especially on the house side. And you can go in there. I mean, I carry an old soup spoon or old aluminum soup spoon with me. I'll go in there and I'll scrape it out. I'll let that stuff fall in and, and it'll just, you know, exit out to the street side. I mean, if it's really a heavy accumulation of soap, scum, and grease, I'll actually take it out, put it in a can, and discard it. But we're going to move up to the bench, and I'm going to show you how you can get a brass plug out if it's stuck in there. And then I'll show you some other options besides these lead plugs. But i got to put this back in here. This is ripe, my friends. Listen, I'll meet you up on the bench. I'll see you in the next segment. Okay, guys, we're up here on the bench, and before I uh, show you the different type of replacement covers and how to go about removing the uh, old brass plugs, I just wanted to give you an idea of the anatomy of a house trap. Now, you were looking in the pit there, you were looking in from the top, okay? And this here would represent the house side. This would represent the street side. If you can see here, I drew some arrows on here. And this is the direction of the flow. So the, the water is going to be coming in from your home, your building, residence, commercial building, whatever. It's going to be flowing down. It's going to go around the bottom of the house trap. It's going to continue around, come up, and continue out to the street. And there is water that remains in this part, if you could draw a line across here, there is actually water that stays in here. And this water actually prevents the sewer gas from backing up from the street side and getting into the house. And this is how you would access and clean the, the, the P-traps. These are where the covers actually go. They go here. So what I'll do, now that you have a, a better understanding of, of what happens in, in a, in a P-trap or a hash trap, I keep calling it a P-trap, but it's a, this is a hash trap. But... Um, same principle, same idea. It, it traps water in the bottom to keep the sewer gas from backing in from the city sewer system into your home. So now that you got it, I hope you got it. I'm going to take this rig out of the way, and then I'm going to put some examples here of what you can do if you have some bad breast plugs and uh, you want to get them out, and what you can do to replace them. So uh, stand by, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so here we are, and what this is here is a, actually, this is a, what they call a clean-out ferrule, and you're able to clamp this with no-hub clamps onto a, a, a no-hub 
P-trap or hash trap. You can just clamp it on with the no hook clamps. And then this allows you to, to get a, uh, a brass clean out on there. Actually, it comes with the clean out in it. So this is what this is. And I'm just showing you this because this is what you would see if you're looking into the top of a house trap. This is going to represent, this represents the house trap. Like I showed you in the pit, this would be the top of the house trap. And like I said, they mainly come equipped uh, with brass plugs and the brass plugs have been in there for years and years and years and years and years. And usually what happens, you know, we'll come around and try to take these off and we'll get a, you know, 14 inch wrench or so, and we'll try to screw these off. And what happens is these things generally don't budge. And, and the only way really to get them off is you got to chop them off. Uh, and I would caution you to really get a professional to do it only because I know you want to get in there with the hammer and the chisel and, go, and be gung ho about it. But if you, if you crack the top of the half strap, you know, from, from blasting away at it with a cold chisel, I mean, you're going to be in for one big fancy repair. So I wouldn't recommend if you don't know what you're doing to go in there with a cold chisel and, and bang these out. You know, some of these brass plugs are solid brass. You know, the, the, the brass plugs of today are, are kind of like hollow, so they, they will bend if you hit them. This is a very thin brass cap, but unless you know what you're doing, uh, what I would recommend you do is if you put a wrench on here, let me just get this caught for you. If you put a wrench on here and, uh, and it doesn't come off, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my take on things, or, or actually what I do uh, in, in cases where it's really, really tough and I don't want to crack the trap. What I do is I'll drill a series of holes, quarter-inch holes, around three sides of this this uh, hex here, and what we'll do is we'll drill holes, drill holes all around, quarter inch holes all around, all around, all around, and even a couple in the back here, and I'll actually, what I'll do is I'll come in there with my uh, channel lock pliers, and I will, uh, you know, proceed to, I'll, I'll bend this back and actually break it off. Once I get enough holes drooled all around here and, and, and a couple in the back. I'll, I'll just grab that. And maybe with my, my little uh, sharp uh, version of a cold chisel, a small one, I'll knock out the, the remaining pieces of brass in between the holes. And that will enable you to bend this back and you can go back and forth and this will come off. What you're left with then is, uh, is a hole, basically. And, and once you're left with a hole, uh, you can either come in there by hand or, or if you have your sawzall, you can go in there and make your cut. And I probably would make two cuts and you'd cut all the way back. You'd have your saw cut all the way back, all the way back to the, um, the uh, top of the trap here and just slice that in. And you could also make a slice, kind of like a slice of pizza, if you will. And then what you can do is you can bang this, bang this in, this the piece will come out. Once you put two cuts in here like this, you'll actually be able to, to come in here now and you'll be able to just, you'll whack that piece out. You can actually, you can actually hit it down. Once you get the piece out of there, what I, what I would do is then I would, I would hit it on either side, the right side or the left side. And basically what you're trying to do is you, you're, you're collapsing whatever's left and it'll break loose from the, from the uh, outside of the top of the um, um, hash trap. And then at that point, you'll be able to take that off. So I really wouldn't go whacking away at it if you don't know what you're doing. What I would do is drill, like I said, drill a series of holes around here, quarter inch holes. And then you can come in with a small chisel, knock out the little brass pieces in between the holes and get it to where you can actually grab this with your channel locks. And then you can just bend this, go back and forth until, until this thing pops. Once that pops, you can go make your two cuts. You can make a cut here. You can make a cut here. You can come in, knock the piece out, and then you're free to get the cover off. And this will basically ensure that you don't crack this. Because again, if you crack this, that four inch trap is encased in concrete. You don't want that to happen. So now we got the cover off. And typically what I do, I carry lead fiddle covers, 
Now these are lead. Now they these look like they're threaded, and a lot of guys basically they will try to screw these in, but you don't have to do that, guy. All you have to do in order to get these to work is you, you place that in there, and uh, you get the hammer, and you basically you give it a good, and that that lead is gonna because they're tapered. I don't know if you can see that they're tapered, so the deeper the deeper they go, the, the, the snugger they get. And simply, you give it a couple of good whacks head on. And to get these off, it's pretty simple. All you would have to do really is just give it a knock on one side or the other, and they will come right off. Okay, now this is a, a four inch size here. As you can see, there's a four inch size here. They come four inch, they come three and a half inch. They come three inch, they come all sizes, these lead covers. And I carry these because these are good, these are reliable and dependable ways to, to get a cover on here, especially if you were in a situation and you had to get a cover on here in a hurry for whatever reason. And I'll go over that in another video. I wanna I wanna explain to you if you guys are gonna be bold enough to try to uh, tackle a stoppage in your sewer system and, and you're gonna open up your half strap. We're going to cover that in another video because you got to be very careful about what you're doing when you're going to go about doing that job. So again, these here, you just you, you hit them in, done, man. They're not they're not going anywhere. You want to get them off? You pop them off. Now you can certainly you can certainly go out and try to buy another brass cover, but unless the threads in here are really really sound, chances are it's not going to go on. I've seen guys even get PVC covers. They replace brass covers with PVC, and then they try to screw the PVC uh, covers in here, and they end up cross-threading them because the threads inside of here are bad. So uh, my thing, my recommendation to you would be is go with, with, with the lead covers. They've been dependable. I've been using them all my life. Now, now what I see being used lately are these test plugs. These actually weren't designed to be sewer plugs, but they, they, they use them. Um, and what, what, what they do is it works with a bolt and a, and a rubber gasket and, and you would make sure that this bolt is relatively, you know, backed off all the way. And that'll allow you to, to get this gasket put inside this hub here. And, and you might have to get your hammer and, and give it a little, little whack. And you really don't have to go all the way down. I generally will go two thirds of the way down. And simply by going clockwise with the wing nut, what happens is that the, uh, the rubber uh, will start to expand as, as the bolt starts pulling up from the bottom. So you'll tighten that wing nut, and as you tighten that wing nut, the, the rubber will expand and, and thereby leaving you with a, you know, with a sewer cover that's intact. But I can tell you one thing, if you have a problem and you, you're fighting a stoppage and you have to get this off in a hurry, these things don't come off uh, very easily. As you can see here, I loosen the bolt, and if you just try to lift this out, now just imagine having water or a stoppage, and you got to get in there in a hurry, and you got to start prying this up with a screwdriver and playing with it, and on the other side of sewage, you can't be having your head down here when that's happening, guys. I mean, look how difficult this is to get out. Imagine doing that in a life situation. Ridiculous, in my opinion. For my money, the good old lead sewer plug, totally reliable. Water's backing out of there. You can put this on quickly and whack that down. If you have to get it off in a hurry, you tap it, comes right off. It's bulletproof as far as I'm concerned. So there you go, guys. Those are some choices when replacing the sewer covers on your house trap. Uh, I'm gonna shoot another video on, on how to go about the, uh, tackling a stoppage in your house trap and I'm going to outline the steps you should take and the things you should be careful for so be sure to come by again for that one guys I want to, I want to thank everybody for stopping by bobsplumbingvideos.com I hope you're getting some useful information out of my videos if so tell your friends on Facebook and Twitter if there's something in this video you didn't understand please email me info at bobsplumbingvideos.com and I will see you guys in the next video Take care and happy plumbing.